All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things, all right? This is just our normal everyday life, um, but we have to replace our mailbox. It actually lasted almost a year. Last winter, when the uh, snow plow went by, it uh, threw some snow up there and kind of knocked it off. We fixed it to where it got through enough to now, but our mail person actually said, hey, uh, we're gonna put all your mail on hold because I can't get your mailbox open anymore and it's uh, kind of a pain. So it lasted us almost another year, so we're gonna go ahead and put a new mailbox up today. Um, it's just, uh, I think it's a $49 mailbox we got from Menards. Um, it's nothing special, but it'll get us through. We're going into winter, so it might happen again, but we'll get this put up. And I figured we might as well uh, put a new bracket on there. We we did buy a universal, um, this is a steel universal mail box mounting board. Um, that way it's just easier to install. You can screw it right into your post and then mount your uh, mailbox right on the sides there. Uh, so we're going to get go ahead and do that today. But while we're going down there, we're going to use the Ranger, uh, Polaris Ranger XP1000 crew cab. Um, we're going to throw the trash actually in the back here, you know, trash has to go. And what do you do with trash when you live a half a mile away from the roadway? Well, you got to get it to the road somehow. So I'm going to show you the process we do in getting our trash down to the road. Um, we just throw the trash can up here in the back of the Ranger and get her down there. So without further ado, we're going to grab some tools and we're going to head down there. Hope you enjoy. So I got all the mounting brack, all the mounting tools, uh, hardware that came with it right here. Looks like it's just a Phillips. Um, I know we have a star down there at the currently, so we can take the previous one off. Um, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get the uh, Dewalt impact wrench um, and see if we can't get it off with this. It might be a little difficult to get in there, so we're going to use an extension and a elbow. Let's see here. So we'll grab all this stuff and we're going to go ahead and head down there. So we'll show you what we got. So we just throw it up in there. Just like that. Hey, Looks like we got some trash here. We'll throw this in the... Uh... Hey, hey buddy, what are you doing? Look, you say hi? If we have any extra we'll throw it right here beside but this right here trash right up in there you can always use the uh the tire there for a step stool and let's go ahead and roll down Once we get down here, I always make sure I have my hazards on. That way, if any cars, they can see me. We're going to throw this 
right down like this. Look at that. I mean, if that don't get any easier than that, I don't know what does. Throw that in there and we go back up. So let's go ahead and get this uh, mailbox installed. I'm going to bring you around here and I'll show you exactly what we're dealing with. All right, guys, now we're going to be close to the road. We'll keep our hazards on. Make sure you're having situational awareness. Make sure you uh, keep looking for traffic. Traffic's going to be the number one thing. Um, but we'll, we'll make sure we're safe. Um, we're going to try to get this off here and let's get going. I don't know if this is this T is going to, or this uh, 90 degree is going to be actually be able to get in here or not. So we'll see. I want to make sure. Oh, they did put our mail in there, though. They said, ah, we're tired of holding it. I'm going to say, they say, we're going to hold your mail. You're not going to get your mail if uh, you don't come get it, right? Well, guess what? They dropped it off, didn't they? I don't believe this is going to get in there. <laughs> That's so funny. That's like they were going around telling us, um, hey, if you guys don't uh, raise your mailboxes uh, 10 inches... We're not gonna get. We're not gonna deliver your mail. Um, we got. We got these new. These new. Um, trucks. These mail trucks, and you got to raise your mailbox ten inches, or you're not gonna get your mail. Well, guess what? If everybody, that's not gonna work. But if everybody just went ahead and uh, didn't do it, guess what? They'll deliver your mail because they're not going to hold your mail. Not if everybody doesn't doesn't do it. I'm not telling you to do that, but that, that just cracked me up when I... That wasn't us. That was my parents. They told them that. People are putting two-by-fours, everything underneath their mailboxes. And I'm like... The federal website says it has to be at this certain height so that's where i'm going to put it not 12 inches taller now i'm going to use the impact wrench i'm going to grab pop these uh other screws out of here that was holding that and then i will put the new one on so let's line these out. Now that we got this uh, that one off, we're going to be able to get these out fairly quick. That one's a little rusted. And then we'll use our bracket there. Try not to bore you too much with this. There we go. So we're going to take our new mailbox here, and we're going to see exactly where we need to put this. And we'll, I want it all the way back like that. So right there looks good. So now what we'll do is we will line up those holes. It's going to be perfect right there. And we'll screw this down. <coughs> Should be pretty simple. Line it up. Nice and square here with the board. We're going to make our little marks. And I think we'll go right here. We'll just start start a few holes to make sure they're, we know where we're going. What we're going to do is take our spacers. We're going to put our spacers right on top of those holes. So we make sure we get them lined up perfectly. Just like that. And final one. Then we'll lay this down right on it, and we are good. And we'll go ahead and start screwing these down. And you're going to have some uh, bolts and nuts. These are locking nuts. And then we're going to go ahead and lock them down. Uh, probably should have brought a wrench down with us. We didn't do that. Uh, we'll get this on there and then we'll have to tighten it down probably later. 
So on this side, actually on both sides, I was wrong, right? You're going to put this spacer in here. I, I don't know why I forgot about it. So I had to take the other side out. Um, disregard that whole thing. So we're going to, you're going to make mistakes as you go. So you'll take this spacer, you're going to put it in between that bracket, right? And the thing. And it's actually going to serve to help. Once you find the hole, that's the, there it goes. And then you're actually going to have a spacer to keep it nice and secure. All right, so here's the final product. It ended up being fairly easy. No issues. Um, we are good to go until the next gentleman from the uh, county go ahead and throws some snow and knocks our mailbox off. All right, guys. Well, let me tell you something. I truly appreciate each one of you guys coming back to the channel. Um, we couldn't do this without you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.